What's up guys, Raptor here. Hope you guys had a great weekend. And hope you guys are looking forward to Moon Week. Got the new and final zombie map coming out to the time of this recording tomorrow. So in 24 hours, most of you guys, I'm guessing, are going to be playing Moon. I'm still debating whether I'm going to pick it up or not. Uh, but uh, what you guys are watching on the screen right now is a game of Domination. I believe Team Tactical that I played a couple nights ago. And speaking of Team Tactical, there was a new playlist that was released, and it is the Express playlist. It's basically like the Mosh Pit playlist, only in between rounds when you're in the lobby, it's only a 30 second timer, so you're getting in games quicker. It's pretty much every game type on every map, and there's no ghost, and no second chance. So not only is it Moon Week, it's Anti-Ghost Bitch Week, and it's also Anti-Blob Shot Week. And guys, believe me when I say this, I tried last night, I tried so hard that sounds inappropriate but i played maybe a good two three hours you know with a group of my friends to try to get you guys a gameplay of this brand new playlist and i couldn't you know in, in my mind i'm thinking no ghost no second chance so the people that play this they're going to be better than the people you normally find in pubs well number one that was proven false because we all went you know double triple quadruple positive kds every game and we never actually played a full game. Either the host would drop because they backed out. Uh, the people would dashboard all the time. We'd end up basically playing against two people like halfway through the game. And it was so stupid. I mean, if, if you're going to play that and you know, obviously no ghosts, no second chance. It's not going to be, you know, your average people that don't exactly know 100% what they're doing. You, you got to, you know, anticipate you're going to be playing against some better people. It's kind of, well, I wouldn't say it's like the competition playlist, but it's one of those playlists where it quickly weeds out the good players from the just okay players. And from playing it, <laughs> I actually found this really funny, but people still had Ghost on. It doesn't like the competition playlist where if you have Ghost, it will just say none as your first perk and you're basically wasting your first perk slot. The same thing with second chance except the third perk slot. And it's like, well, didn't you read the, the description of the playlist where it clearly says no ghost, no second chance? I don't know. I mean, to me, I only have one class with ghosts, and it's the one that I use to shoot down air support when I'm playing pubs. So, you know, I'm going for all the pro perks, guys. Don't judge me. I hate ghosts with passion, but I gotta get all the pro perks. I mean, how else am I going to? Let me just go on record and say I have not even bought second chance, so don't, don't worry about that. I'm not going to be going around doing no, no blap shots. So before we move on to the next topic, I guess I should uh, kind of let you guys know what I've been doing this past week. Well, because for me anyways, this is my last week of summer vacation and it's really depressing. I enjoy summer so much and I, I just hate having to say, oh, time to go back to school, but uh, time to go back to school and it's going to be my senior year. So uh, I don't know what my schedule is going to be like. So I've spent this last week getting lots and lots of gameplays i have maybe seven or eight gameplays stored up in a folder on my desktop also on an external hard drive so you know in case my schedule is too hectic that i can't make the time to play as much as i'd like to uh i have gameplays for you guys i'll be able to post they just need to be commentated and it's trust me it's a lot easier to commentate something spend like 10 20 minutes editing it than to have to go get a gameplay and then do the commentary and the editing. This is just making this a little bit easier on me. And it's making it so I can still produce content even if my schedule is uh, hellacious this year. And I, I don't know. I mean, from what I hear, senior year is supposed to be pretty simple. But it's also, you know, the year that people apply to colleges. And my school isn't exactly the same thing as every other school in the country. It's, trust me, it's radically different than the... I guess it's a normal high school experience, if you want to call it that. And I'm not looking forward to the first day of school. I mean, I have to be there at 6 in the morning to do some sort of senior sunrise thing. And I live maybe a 30-minute 30, 30 drive away, and I don't know what's going to be like with traffic. So it's a possible 45-minute drive to get to school. I have to be there at 6, so I'm not anticipating sleeping very much the night before. I mean, my current plan is that Sunday sleep as much as i can during the day pull an all-nighter and just show up to school and hope you know hope for the best <laughs> i i'm not a morning person you know i mean i have 
more energy later on in the day than I do when I first wake up. I don't know, it's, it's weird, but I just feel more comfortable not in the mornings. Come on, Raptors, can you go through one commentary without saying something that's going to confuse everybody watching? Man. The one thing I am excited about is because school is starting, that does mean that it's almost that holiday season. You know what comes out holiday season? Tons of good games. And I thought last, uh, last like November-ish time was going to be the good time, but there's a lot of good games coming out this year, guys. I'm not just talking about Modern Warfare 3. I'm not talking about Battlefield 3. I'm talking games like Batman, Arkham City, which I got pre-ordered now. I think I'm going to go bump it up to the special edition. We got Saints Row 3 coming out. We got Skyrim coming out. And actually, also on the day that Skyrim comes out, we also got the full final version of Minecraft. Finally going to be released after, you know, people playing it for over a year and the alpha and the beta. The full game is finally coming out. It's going to be interesting to see what all they add or if the 1.8 update is going to be the final update. I don't know. Is it going to go all the way to 2.0? We'll see. 1.8 update is looking pretty good, though. I'm getting excited for it man this, this year went by so fast right i mean like it feels like just yesterday i was getting ready for black ops and i was going on my friend list and seeing everybody playing reach and now everyone is getting ready to play games that aren't reach and aren't black ops it's weird you got that new halo game coming out uh is it coming out this holiday season the uh combat evolved hd i'm not a halo fan anymore but I did play Halo during the Combat Evolved days and the Halo 2 days, so I think I'm going to pick it up and looking forward to playing it online. Don't expect to see a lot of gameplay from it. I'm a COD guy, but, you know, a good classic Halo game is it's going to be nice. It's going to be really nice, and yeah, I mean, this commentary is coming up to a close, so I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. It was actually a really fun game. The other team kind of got crushed, but um, I had fun doing it, and I got the game winning kill. My final score is... I don't remember what my final score is. It's uh, 35 and uh, I think that's his 3. So, pretty good game overall. And thank you guys for watching. It's been Raptors. Talk to you guys later.